Oh shit, Voltker. I feel like I should say a few words. Hi there, so in the last episode we made some pretty good progress. Uh, we got our hands on the rebreather um, and the torch and some other little bits and bobs uh, that we're going to probably find quite useful as we go. Um, we also did some nice cavernous exploring and um, scuba diving in a cave, which I can imagine being relatively terrifying. So <laughs> um, this episode I think we're going to focus on getting a bit more uh, protection for ourselves. Um, and try and find some weapons, starting with the katana, um, which is always a good option to have. Uh, I mean, who wouldn't want a katana in a survival situation? So, we're going to go in searching of cave number one. And here we have a campsite. So there's going to be a whole bunch of boxes, which we can grab some bits and bobs. Uh, some flares, which will probably be quite useful. Some money, because you never know when you're going to buy something in the forest. I've got some arrows, that's pretty useful. Uh, some more cloth, some candy bars. I mean, you may as well eat one and then replace it. Uh, don't know if that's edible or not, so... Because food isn't really a major issue right now, we're not gonna risk eating that. It's never good to eat random mushrooms that you find on the floor. Especially when they're brightly colored like that. Pretty sure that's a, a real world lesson right there. Um, Alright, looks to be like we've pretty much looted everything of importance. Seems to be everything. Oh. Alright. So. Uh, let's just get our bearing. Onwards we go. Uh, let's see, we're quite thirsty, so. I wonder. Nah. Okay, I think we're just gonna drink a soda quick. Just to make sure we stay hydrated. So, it's not always the easiest to navigate um, and find your way around on this map. It would be really great to have a compass, because, um, you know, at least you can start and get your bearing. But, um, you know, what we're looking for at the moment is a river that's going into the ocean, so kind of like an estuary sort of vibe. Um, and that'll be pretty much close to the cave that we need to go into. Um, we come across that giant hole in the ground, um, that'll be a pretty good indication that we're going the right way. Um, and of course our stamina is being phenomenal once again. But we press on. And you also just got to keep your eyes peeled for some Cannibals. I think what we might do is while we're here, maybe shoot a deer or two. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> you live to be a buck another day. Um, luckily, we haven't run into any cannibals at the moment. And I've this. Oh, I, I think I'll try our best to avoid. Oh, uh, no. Back. Go away. Let's just not start that fight. Just gonna run away. Don't wanna have that fight right now.
Okay, I think. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, I should be around here somewhere. Okay, we're looking for. Ah, there we go. Alright, so we found a cave. And let's lower ourselves in there. I think we can use this axe for now. As we descend into the cave, let's put our lighter on. Just shimmy down. Old big lighter doing its job. Okay, so I don't think we come across any cannibals um, or mutants at this point because uh, obviously we're still not exactly well equipped, but we'll do our best to avoid all of them. So, some other bits to loot around here. The suitcase, which is open. That's not sounding good. Yes, yeah, find some other little bits. Is that a bit of a toy? And some drawings. Another drawing. There's lots of skulls. Yeah. I think what we might do is turn our light off. Just to be safe. Do a little bit of sneaky sneaky ancient coins. Okay, I think we can be a bit quiet here. Yeah? You can hear the mutants to the right. Also got to whisper and keep very quiet. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go down this little passageway. There we go, there's some light up ahead. Along with some teeth and some limbs. Cool. So, we have a katana. Well, I mean, that's pretty brutal. You've laid your skin on. I guess it's reusing art. But, um, well, now that we're here, let's just light a fire. You never know, there's some booze, lots of money. Rich. There's some pills. Some food. More pills. More pills. More food. I guess we can eat that. Some watches. More cloth, more watches. Ooh, some fuel. Uh, I think while we're here, let's see, since we have an abundance of watches, what we can make with them. So we can make an explosive. And well, that could be quite useful. I think we have all the bits though. Yeah, let's drink a soda. Okay, so with most caves, the only way to go is just keep on going. 
Some more soda. A lot more soda. There's another torch. Some alcohol. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. What we can do though is let's combine some of those. Make some Molotovs. Anyway, we can stock up. So these will be super useful should we run into one of these mutants. Uh, let's get rid of... Hmm. I think let's maybe get rid of the club now. Okay. So, uh, let's find our way out. Make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. Okay, so I think the safest bet will be getting out of here. Okay, we might have to go into stealth mode again. Not that we can really see a whole bunch, but we can hear them. I want to stay pretty sneaky. Just really don't want to be facing evil mutants at this point. I mean, are they good mutants? He's a little bit of a chirpy fellow. An arms here, I do believe. Oh, he's galloping. So let's get out of here. Do not want to be facing that guy right now. Yeah, he's very much aware of us right now. To be fair, we could have probably thrown a Molotov at him, but I think he's a little bit too strong at the moment. So let's cut our losses and get out of here, shall we? Up the rope we go. Hmm, he's a vocal little fella. God, the upper body strength in this man. I mean, I'd, I'd, I would probably end up dying in the cave because I couldn't climb up the bloody rope. All right, we're out of the cave and we have a katana. Woohoo. No, uh, so on that note, let's just set that up. Uh, maybe instead of the, the old rusty ax. Oh yeah, look at the katana. All right, so perhaps it might be a good idea to wait until the day. God, that bird scared me. Um, just because running around at night is never great. So I think let's do that. We'll build a quick a wee shelter. Right next to the cave, because why not? 
And of course, we're going to go and have to cut some sticks down. Uh, and of course, there are none around. Great. So that is not my best moment ever. And I guess it's not too bad. It's so quiet there. So I think we can either... Oh, damn, there's some cannibals. I don't think he's seen us yet. I really don't feel like fighting him. Ah, oh, there's another one. And they're right in our path. So... I really just want to get some sticks. Just want some sticks, man. Okay, then again, I think actually a better idea will be... We need four. All right, sweet, we've got four sticks. Let's just head back. Look at the starry night and the moon. Okay, let's just build our shelter and then we can have a quick nap. I wonder if you can navigate by the stars. And like that one would probably be north, right? Would that one? Probably that one. Okay. So can't quite sleep yet. I'm hearing some running. It's a little rabbit. It's a wabbit. Where are you, wabbit? Ah, oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, he spotted us. Okay. We might have to do a little bit of... bit of fighting. So perhaps... Oh, damn it. Oh, what we do have... I mean, nothing is quite as effective as a Molotov. Oh, there's a whole herd of them. Oh, this is not going to be the glorious fighting. Ah, oh, I forgot to light it. I mean, what good is a Molotov if you don't light it? doing too good with those. I think we'll have to... I really don't want to get too close to them, to be honest. And we got one. Ah, oh, we got ourselves two. Great, great. Makes light work of. Are we still doing this? Yep. Oh dear. Let's get out of this guy. Okay, let's let's have a break. Death. Okay, that gives me time to. Uh, 
this side's four. Okay, that was a bit of a pain. Um, so I think we'll just quickly cut up the body. Because what we do need is some bones. As grim as this is. Okay, apparently desecrating bodies is not a good idea right now. And this is why we wanted the samurai sword. As I was saying, it's such a peaceful night. Um, Alright, so we're covered in blood. And we're gonna have to go wash ourselves. And then I think we'll sleep. Okay, we are officially clean. Ah, oh, there's another one. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of med left. Ah, uh, no. Uh, okay, so we're very much in the. <laughs> Pretty much by their camp, which might explain things. Do we risk it? Do we risk the sleep? You know what? I think we've deserved the sleep. Oh, we made it. We made it into the morning. Let's have some breakfast. Uh, let's eat you, drink you. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think let's head back home. And then we can regain ourselves a bit. Uh, but. Yeah, oh, that was a success. Uh, yeah, okay, right, so here's their little town. I think we're just gonna do a quick run through. I mean, pretty much already pissed them off, so let's uh, see if we can grab some other little bits. Um, be it soda or rope. Rope is always good. Ropes. Okay, so we got full ropes. It's useful. Cloth. Just breaking your shit. Because why not? Okay. Oh, that's a bit steep. Uh, running down the hill. Oh, wait. I think I remember. Oh, we don't have one. I remember seeing a video the other day where you can... Act, uh, I don't think it's a great idea to... Oh, I mean, they probably know we're here. I think let's just run away. I think we've done enough killing today. I mean, unless we get provoked and then... to work out where we can stockpile on some meds. Ooh, some seeds. Aloe seeds, yes, yes, aloe. That's good. That lets us heal. We can go and build a... An, what do you call it? A garden? Flower bed. Okay, I think let's... How do we make a stronger one? Oh, we need bones, oh, that's right. Okay, well, it's good to know we've got some bones coming. Okay, that's one fish. 
that's two fish. Oh, two fish. All right. Three. Now we have four. Uh, okay. And just in time for a storm. I think we're gonna hit the bunny. No, I think we've got enough food. Ooh, some more suitcases. Okay, so I've successfully managed to piss off a whole cannibal village. Got some pills at least, that's good. Come on, pills. Just a pill popping dude. It's a lizard. Or a legabon. Okay, but why are we doing this? It's multitask. Yeah, we can't carry any more sticks, that's good. Alright, so we're back at our home. Um, what I did realize we didn't set up last time is some traps. Um, so what we're going to do is go and plant some rabbit traps, since it is wabbit season. Um, just so we have another option for food. So I think we're just going to build one. Sort of, uh, there's a rabbit, so somewhere here. Okay, we just need to gather some sticks quick. And then, might be an idea to see how we can make a stick bag. So carry some more. Oh, not enough. Damn. Oh, what do we need? We need 11 more. Choppity chop chop chop. Alright, cool. We've got 11. Let's just finish our rabbit trap. Uh, we don't want to keep living off candy bars. It's not really sustainable for us to always have to go find them. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One, one stick. Great, there's a rabbit. Yeah. Then, let's go work on our garden quick. And then I think once we've got the garden done, next episode we can start building our floor plan for our main base. Um, which I think will also be useful. And we can figure out exactly where we want to go. Okay, um, what we're looking for is garden. I don't think this will get attacked. Oh, let's just put it in front of our. I uh, bet at least our uh, okay. uh, at least our water fellow will be getting nice and full. Cool. So now we can plant on all that. Uh, we'll do is fill this bad boy up. Now we're balling. Oh, great. So we have some more visitors. Um, I don't know how moody they are. I think maybe let's try and... Uh, okay, they're very, very much in moody. That's one. Okay. Um, please go away. I'm too fast for you. Let's 
Let's pick up all. Okay. Well, we can actually build in the meantime. Luckily, the others ran away. Um, is a drying rack. So we can start putting limbs up to dry. Um, not really want to eat limbs, but um, what I really want to do is get bones a place to store them. So once we have that, um, we can start building bone armor and have a little bit more protection. Okay, so what do we need? We need a drying rack. I might need line. There we go. Drying rack. Oh, man, let's just put that there. Okay, we can also put... No, let's keep our food upstairs. And the limbs outside. Don't want to be mixing that up. Oh, all right, hello. You're... Are you gonna run away? No, okay. Luckily, they're not the strong ones. No, let's just take off some limbs. Oh, lovely. Okay. So our bone collection begins. Oh, they are persistent. Okay, you go away. Uh, so what is actually a more convenient way is burning the bodies. So just to get things going. You know, assistant. Mm, there's one over here. Oh no, he's didn't die. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly craft a Molotov. Equip. Borshet Voltger. I feel like I should say a few words. Nah. Okay, well, that's all burning. I suppose you don't have any arms or legs. If I can rinse my, let's just wait for the bones to, the bones to do what the bones do. I want to go too far. Oh, there we go. All right, so I have all these bones. Okay, we can put them in our bone box. And we are looking good. No, pick up that button. There we go. 